Okay, does creatine make you gain weight? Does it make you bloated? Does it make you retain water? Let's figure it out. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Maya Valenti with Naked Nutrition, a private chef and nutrition coach, and today we are diving into a common question. Does creatine make you bloated? Creatine is one of the most researched and widely used supplements, especially for those looking to improve athletic performance and build some muscle. But for some, it comes with concerns about bloating and water retention. In this video, we'll break down what creatine bloating is and why it happens and how you can avoid it. So you can reap the benefits without any discomfort. What is creatine bloating? Well, first let's talk about what creatine actually is. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound made from amino acids and stored in our muscles. It helps produce ATV, the energy source our muscles rely on during intense exercise. When supplementing with creatine, some people experience bloating, which is typically due to water retention in the muscles rather than actual fat gain. This happens because creatine pulls water into the muscle cells, increasing hydration and muscle volume. This effect is most noticeable during the loading phase where people take a higher dose, around 20 to 25 grams, per day for five to seven days to really saturate those muscles. This sudden water retention can lead to temporary bloating and puffiness, but it's not actually weight gain. But how can you avoid creatine bloating? Well, if you're worried about bloating, here are some simple ways to minimize or even prevent it. Number one, Skip that loading phase, and instead of taking high doses initially, just stick to three to five grams per day. This method still provides the same benefits without causing any excess water retention. Two, choose the right form of creatine. Creatine monohydrate is the most researched and widely used form, and it's well absorbed by most people. Some find creatine hydrochloride or buffered creatine easier on digestion, so experimenting may help. Number three, watch your diet and hydration. Some bloating can come from what you mix creatine with. If you're blending it with milk, but have lactose intolerance or adding it to a high fiber smoothie, it might not be the creatine that's causing that bloating. Also drinking at least 60 ounces of water per day is gonna help your body process that creatine efficiently. The benefits of creatine, let's discuss it. So despite concerns about bloating, creatine has a ton of benefits. For one, it's going to improve strength and endurance, and it boosts that ATP production, giving your muscles more energy for workouts. Number two, it supports muscle growth and recovery, and it helps increase lean muscle mass and it speeds up post-workout recovery. And three, it may enhance cognitive function. Some studies suggest that creatine can improve memory, focus, brain function, especially in individuals with lower natural creatine levels. Here are my final thoughts. Should you take creatine? Well, the bottom line is creatine is safe and it's effective for most people. If you're experiencing bloating, it's likely due to some water retention and skipping that loading phase can help prevent it. Plus, choosing high quality creatine and staying hydrated will minimize your discomfort. If you're serious about performance, recovery, and muscle growth, creatine is one of the best supplements that you can take. I hope this video cleared up any confusion about creatine and bloating. Let me know in the comments, have you ever experienced anything like this with creatine? And what's your favorite way to take it? If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more nutrition and supplementation tips. And for further information on our Naked Creatine, check us out at nakednutrition.com, where you can get all the facts about our supplements because here at Naked Nutrition, we're nutrition with nothing to hide.